And that's what we want, right? And this virus and this pandemic, I think the 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 great thing that will come out of this horrible experience that we've all had is psychologically, death, learning, just so many bad things occurred, the economy, people losing their jobs. But we also got to see the human spirit with these mRNA vaccines and, and just how if we took out some of the regulation and people were super motivated, we might actually be able to eliminate all uh, pandemics from ever happening again. And before that, Bill Gates was banging his fist and Jeff Skoll was doing the movie Contagion. I mean, for two decades, people have been banging their fists. We have to be prepared for this. Yes. And everybody's like, yeah, whatever, YOLO. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> and now it's happened and people are like, we need to be able to destroy every you know pandemic and virus before it happens. And you're, you're listen, you know a lot more about science than I do, but these MR, mRNA has been around for a while. Mm -hmm. We've just never gotten aggressive about doing it. And then you think about challenge trials. I don't know if you've been following this, but they're doing challenge trials now in the UK this month where they're introducing COVID mm -hmm. into healthy young patients and then giving them the vaccine or, wow. you know. And that is against all yeah. rules and regulations about, you know, do no harm. But then you think about it. We kind of celebrate people jumping out of planes and we got that one guy, Alex Honnold, who's climbing up yeah. mountains without a rope and they yep. give him a North Star, you know, back page ad and a and a and a, a you know, an endorsement deal. Yeah. And we celebrate that. We celebrate people surfing with sharks. We celebrate people doing deep welding. We pay them extra to go two hundred feet underground and weld stuff. And people do dangerous stuff all day long. Astronauts. Yeah. But we won't soldiers, yeah. firefighters. But we won't let people get paid to be, do a challenge trial. Yeah, we're weirdly risk averse in certain areas that are completely don't make any sense. It doesn't right. And this is where the world needs to be. The, we, we could have said these thousand people, young people, who we know are in all likelihood not going to have a bad outcome. But there's a possibility. There's a possibility. But it's very low. And it's certainly lower than riding a motorcycle. Right. It's lower than riding a motorcycle. People ride motorcycles everywhere. We have ads for motorcycles. <laughs> we could have just said to those thousand people, we'll give you a million dollars each to do this. Okay, there's your billion dollars. We, we're printing trillions of dollars of money to deal with this. If we had just done a thousand people for a million dollars each to do a challenge trial in March, April, May, when they had the mRNA vaccines ready, we could have deployed the vaccines in the summer. We would have been done with this. Mm -hmm. It would have been over by now. So we get to challenge all of the thinking. I think that's what the Great Pause did. It's letting everybody challenge that thinking is, why do we have that rule? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we don't want to have people, you know, like give up their organs for money. Like we, we obviously understand, but there's a reasonable discussion about, well, maybe there's a level of risk in a global pandemic. I mean, we fought the Nazis, right? Mm -hmm. We defeated the Nazis. That, that took a lot of deaths to do that, but we had to kill that evil. This is another evil which we must fight. And it's going to result in, it's already resulting in thousands of people dying a day, but we, we could have actually stopped it earlier if we just had a reasonable discussion. This is why podcasting, as I respect what you do, mm -hmm. and this is why intelligent people are so drawn to podcasts, because you and I can expand on this yes. and not cancel each other yeah. over this very suggestion. When I make this suggestion that are challenge trials reasonable or not, right. if I were to do that on Twitter, they'd be like, oh, Calacanis wants to give poor people coronavirus yeah. in order to save rich people. It's like, yeah. no, I didn't say that. <laughs> but we, we, you and I could have a reasonable discussion about are, are challenge trials something we should consider in a acute situation where millions of people are going to lose their lives. All right. So, you know, that's an example of capitalism and competition working really well. There, there's one of the, to me, sad thing to see about coronavirus is that, for example, testing uh, at scale should have, it's, it seems obvious. I, I was a little clueless about it, but because I thought there's no way you can have like antigen tests at hundreds of millions, like order hundreds of millions of them and make them cheap. But actually I realized recently that there have been available since about like May. Yeah. You were able to- In Korea, in Finland, yeah. all you, over the place. And you could have done mass manufacture. So there, there's a little bit of a failure of, uh, of capitalism to step up. Yeah. And I don't know if you agree with this, but it seems that the blame is to be placed at the regulators. Yeah. And- the 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 various institutions crony capitalism in all likelihood yeah. is what stopped it here in america i mean i had friends who had imported them from other countries 
the testing kits. And you've probably been to parties where people had these kind of testing kits from other countries. Mm -hmm. And we're sitting here and they're just approving them now. Really? In February, month 11 of the pandemic in America, we're going to have testing online. Really? I mean, even if these tests were 80% you know, effective and they're 95% effective. Mass producing them, we should have sent them, you know, in every postal, anybody with a post office box should have, uh, you know, with a mailing address, should have had 10 of them put in their mailing address just for free from the government. And then everybody would be testing and we would have contained it. We don't have test and trace here in the United States. All the countries that are on the other side of COVID did it by having testing, tracing, and closing their borders and masks. That's the combination that works. The, the the problem with the coronavirus is uh, while there's a lot of institutions did not behave their best, it's also the case that there's a lot of uncertainty. So I tend to give a little bit of a pass to everybody involved for the uncertainty. We were all- I, I give them that until June. I wonder how history will remember this whole period.